All right, so this is gonna be a video about absolute and relative extrema. So what I'm basically gonna to do to, sh to show you this, this concept is I have an example graph right here, and I labeled certain parts, and hopefully you notice a trend. Okay, here it's called a relative max, so anytime there's a bump or like a hill, in this case it's like a, a sharp edge right here, it's gonna form what's called a relative max. So here I have a relative max, here I have a relative max. So anytime it's a hill, it's, about, it's a relative max. Okay, anytime it's a valley like down here, it's a valley, it's gonna be considered a relative min. So I have a relative min here and a relative min here. However, the one difference here between this point right here and this point right here is that they both are also the relative and absolute maxes. Now, absolute max, or sometimes it's called global max, also means that it's absolutely the biggest it's the biggest maximum value in that function on that interval. So as you can see, based on this interval right here, this is clearly the biggest one. It's, so it's the absolute max, and but it's still a relative max as well because it forms a hill. Down here, it's relative and absolute min because it forms a valley, and it's also the lowest value in this entire interval for that function. Okay, so this is all about relative and absolute mins and maxes, or relative and absolute extrema. Now, you can have it where instead of being called relative extrema, it's sometimes it's called local. And like I said before, sometimes it's called, instead of absolute, it's called global. So relative and absolute can have other names. Relative could be local as well, or it can be an absolute can be called global. Okay, so if you have any questions about any of this, let me know.